Hi, my name is Tony Huang. I am a state legislator in the Connecticut General Assembly representing portions of Fairfield and Trumbull. We have just voted on a bipartisan jobs initiatives bill, one of which I'm very proud that we have finally begun the tasks of helping our Connecticut businesses toward the goal of creating more jobs. While I'm sensitive that we have begun the task, I respect and recognize that we have so much more to do. And in touring with so many small businesses and companies in our community, I've learned that we need to do more to help our small local businesses. With that said, what is a small local business? A small local business is one where they are our neighbors. They are our PTA parents and marching band leaders. They are the softball coaches and the little league coaches. They are the people who live among our community, pay property taxes, and support our local economy. At the same time, these businesses compete in a global marketplace and providing goods and services in a uniquely personal way. We need to do a better job to help those businesses succeed. I know that because I'm one of them. I'm a realtor in our local community. I am a small business owner. I believe that we need to do a better job in government by easing government regulations in the context of fees and taxes. We also need to create a better environment to have our services be available to our community. At the end of the day, a small business owner is a sole proprietor. Whether they have two to 25 employees, they own and run their own businesses. We need to support those businesses because they are the engine of our growth. We in the legislative body have not considered laws and legislation to help that niche market succeed. I hope that you will join me in helping small businesses by communicating to me your needs of interest. On a second arena, we are looking at workforce development. It's, it's, it's a major portion of this bill that we are looking to support our vocational technical schools to help build up the technical skills and the trades and in, in the manufacturing processes. We're also looking to help support our community colleges that provide associate degrees and technical training as well as stepping stones to higher undergraduate education. With that said though, we look at that in the context of working better with our Board of Educations. This bill does that, but one thing that does not do, and I have made a commitment that we need to do more, is we have in Connecticut one of the largest achievement gaps in education. We have a tremendous separation between the haves and the have-nots in education. What that has created is a situation where we have a mass of population that aren't even able to take advantage of the vocational technical programs. They're not able to take advantage of the community, community college stepping stones that we just talked about. Most of those educated or getting the subpar education in our cities, within our state, don't even proceed to get to that level of education. That is not only a workplace detriment because we lose people like that to the technical world that we live in. The skill sets that are needed to compete in the 21st century, most of our Connecticut citizens do not possess those skills. We need to do better to provide a higher level of education for every child in the state. Not only are we looking at the achievement gap has a economic consequence in not being able to fill the skill needs of the 21st century. We also have a socioeconomic impact in the achievement gap. When you look at the poverty cycle of having those individuals not possessing the opportunity to make a better life for themselves through education, their goals are limited. Their future are limited. And as a result, they proceed back into the cycle and, and the unfortunate levels of poverty that we experience in so many of our urban settings. We need to do a better job 
in educating everyone in our state to ensure that they have an opportunity to live the American dream, to get the education as a great level playing field in this economic growth that we have as a potential in this state. I hope you'll join me. And if you have questions and input and suggestions, I would welcome you to contact me on my website. It's www.tonyhwang.com. And again, I thank you very much for listening to me. Have a good day.